All right, we're going to take a look at some more metric conversions using the shortcut that we learned. So we have here, the medical assistant was asked to measure the infant. The infant measured 0 0.367 meters or how many centimeters? All right, so if we use our shortcut, we know we're starting at a base unit, which is meters. And we wanna hop until we get to centimeters. So that's one hop to deci, one hop to centi to the right. All right, so we'll take the number 0 0.367, the decimal point, then we're going to hop it one, two. So it's gonna go right there. So we have 36.7 centimeters. Let's understand that means that's equal to 0 0.367 meters. All right, so our answer is 36.7 centimeters. All right, so one way that people memorize this progression of our prefixes where we have kilo, hecto, deca, our base unit, deci, centi, milli, is this phrase, King Henry doesn't usually drink chocolate milk. Notice how the first letter of this phrase corresponds to our prefixes. All right, so that's a good way to remember that. So let's try some more examples and see if you can use this uh, mnemonic device. King Henry doesn't usually drink chocolate milk to help you answer the questions. So we have how many grams is equal to 45 milligrams. So we have our mnemonic, King Henry doesn't usually drink chocolate milk. All right, so if we're at milligrams, where's that start? Right here. And we wanna hop till we get to our base unit of grams. One, two, three. All right, so I'm gonna just put 45. Our decimal point, we will assume it be at the end of the number, three hops to the left. One, two, three. Decimal point goes right there, pull in the zero. So that gives us 0 0.045 grams. All right, let's try another one. I have 26 grams is going to equal how many milligrams? All right, grams is a base unit. I'm just going to circle the U for our base unit. And we're hopping till we get to milligrams. So we have one hop, two hops, three hops of our decimal point to the right. So take 26. The decimal point is at the end of the number, and we're going to hop three to the right with our decimal point. One, two, three. There's the decimal point. So fill in your zeros. One, two, three. All right. So that gives us 26,000, oops, thousand milligrams. Try another one. 125 centiliters equals how many liters? So we're starting at centi. I'm going to circle centi. And we're going to hop till we get to the base unit. So that's one, two to the left. So let me take 125. We assume the decimal point is at the end. All right, let's hop one, two. Decimal point goes right there. So that's 1.25 liters equals 125 centiliters. Number four. 0 0.5 grams equals how many hectograms? So grams is a base unit. So I'm going to circle the U. And then we're hopping to the left. One, two. Okay, so 0 0.5. We have our decimal point to the left. So we have one, two. Point goes there. Fill in the zero. All right, so we have 0 0.5 and then zero, zero, 0.005 hectograms equals 0.5 grams. All right, last one for our King Henry doesn't usually drink chocolate milk. We have 4.9 milliliters. Okay, circling here, we want to go to deciliters. So that's one, two, that's deci, base unit, deca. So that was four hops. So to the left. All right. So if we have 
Oops. If we have 4.9, we're going four hops to the left. So that's one, two, three, four. Decimal point right there, zero, zero, zero. Fill that in. All right, so we have zero point one, two, three, four, nine. Okay, zero, 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 four, nine decaliters. All right, so don't forget it. King Henry doesn't usually drink chocolate milk.